Yeah, you are facing them in a way. All right, so we're in mount, okay? Not a good mount, okay? Decent mount, okay? My, my body weight's averagely, evenly dis distributed, all right? All right? I'm not talking about hooking and playing all these. I just, okay, I'm not off balance. I'm not too high, I'm not, I'm not butt up in the air. All right, I need to get one arm, all right? They may have their arm like this, kind of really high up, being protected of their neck. Um, maybe it's uh, punching, it's MMA, you hit, and they so they block it really high. You might be able to just kind of do a little oof and lay down, okay? I don't have the luxury of people sticking their hands in their face because we fight people who actually know what they're doing, all right? So I'm gonna take my hand, all right, and I'm gonna walk it all the way up, okay? And then I'm about to pull and pass it over and get to all those type of positions, all right? So if they are playing defensive on their neck but their elbows are low, I can cap the head, come under, walk that arm all the way up, and then pass it to the side. Now, a lot of people have problems, depending on what they're trying to do, getting this arm under control. Right, so they, they may try to, they're trying to set up like say a head and arm. So they, they put their hand in right here and this arm is still across his face. It's not down in his neck, all right? We need it down for the, the head and arm choke, all right? Some people taught me to push the head and come back over like this. We can simply just take our arm, come over and drive it back across. Now we've got it. They're not going anywhere. I have them locked in. It's not really choking them, but it feels like a halfway choke. So they're kind of disoriented a little bit, but they're breathing. You can punch, you can elbow, you can punch the body. You can hold that position fairly decent, okay? As we get into this position, I always want to, especially if I don't have my arm, under his head, rely on my chest to trap that position. So I can trap it like this. I can put my hands cupped right here, all right? Chest down on his arm. I'm gonna take my hand, like the Fonzie, I'm gonna go in and then up. Hey. In and then up, all right? And at that point, I'm gonna lay back down, lock in my grip, and put all my weight into his chest. Sometimes you'll get to tap. This time I didn't, all right? So with that Fonzie grip, I'm gonna lace this arm across his tricep and gable grip and push down. It's crushing his diaphragm. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna crush down. It's either gonna bicep slice him or tricep slice him right down here where it attaches the elbow. To be honest with you, after being bicep sliced like a thousand times, this one works, hurts worse. There's a way I do it here and I do it here on a couple of different positions and people are normally just freak out when they feel it. They'll either just spaz out and give me another submission right away because it's so painful so quick or they'll just tap instantly because it's so bad. All right. This double grip like that becomes insanely tight. All right. How bad was it? How quick? Real bad, real quick. Yeah, real bad, real quick. It's like, oh dear Lord, something's truly tearing off the bone. And that's what we're looking for. We're trying to tear the bone. Sorry, we're trying to tear the muscle clean off the bone. That's what we're doing. All right. So in a little bit more methodical, faster pace, here we are. Reach back, walk up. Take my arm, pass it over, cap it. Take this hand, shoot it through. Come over his tricep, boom. Gable grip, twist. I'm gonna do this. All right? At any time, you can slow everything down and control that movement. Like anything in life, 
you move more methodically, it's going to be a little bit easier, but you don't have to keep it going. You know, sometimes I say, okay, here's three moves, but it's really one move. It is all just one basic move. I'm here. I'm going to take my time and pick what side I want and work my way up. He's really good. He knows what's going on. He keeps his elbow up. All right. I can try to pull it over and trap it with my chest. It's still on his face. He knows what's up. Now I'm going to come over and push it across. Maybe I want to shoot for the head and arm choke now. Maybe I just want to keep it capped. All right. Now I can keep my weight on his chest, pull his hand back with my elbow and take this hand inside right away. I can lock the rear neck and choke grip right away and squeeze that way and put all my weight into my chest. All right. Maybe that time it worked. It doesn't work. No big deal. Where's he going to go? He can't do anything. I'm going to then slide my hand on top of his elbow, gable grip, and twist. All right. It's a vicious cycle with a lot of submissions, but it keeps you in a very strong defensive position that allows you to dictate the flow of the move or the game or the match or whatever. All right? Make sense? Everybody need to see that one?